again and welcome back to my channel, Adventures with Queen. For this video, I listed 5 things that you should take note of if you're planning to travel by air anytime soon. Before we go into it, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you'll be notified of my future upload. This is not an official statement but it is possible for ticket prices to go down because 1. Fuel is way cheaper than usual and 2. Airline companies are trying to encourage passengers to travel again and the best way for them to do that is to offer cheaper ticket prices. So if you're planning to travel soon, whether you just want to go home or you want to push through with your plans in Udlog because of the quarantine, this is the best time for you to check online and purchase those plane tickets. At times like this, most if not all airlines are encouraging passengers to travel light. Meaning, put light valuables in your carry-on and leave the rest of your stuff, lalo na yung mabibigat at malalaki in your check baggage. With PAL, you're given a 7kg allowance for carry-on plus you can bring additional items with you but make sure these items are lightweight and small. Again, make sure your carry-on is lightweight and small. This way, you won't have a hard time carrying multiple heavy bags around the airport. It's a win-win for passengers and crew alike since passengers won't have a hard time stowing or putting your own bags in the overhead bin and your cabin crew won't have to handle your personal belongings. Remember, we fly more than one route per day so that means we've come in contact with a lot more people than you. This is for your own good because the goal here is to lessen human contact as much as possible. So remember, carry on lighter stuff, check baggage, heavier stuff. For most airlines, the four major hubs are usually Clark, Manila, Cebu, and Davao. Once allowed by the government, these hubs will resume operations, pero syempre hindi nakatulad ng dati. More or less, magbabago yung frequency and availability ng mga flights. First, frequency will depend on the demand. Kung before, we fly certain domestic routes multiple times a day, possible na mabawasan yun. For example, before quarantine, we fly Cebu Iloilo four times a day, every day. After quarantine, pwede maging once or twice a day na lang siya, or even less, baka hindi na siya daily kasi it would be a big loss naman sa part ng company if they will still retain the frequency kahit pa unti-unti na lang yung pasahero. Number 2, availability of flights will depend on the destination whether they're accepting inbound flights or not. For international flights, there is no assurance that it will again to normal operations. But if I'm not mistaken, certain airlines have rescue flights, sweeper flights, and repatriation flights. PAL, for example, have ongoing rescue flights for stranded foreigners here in the Philippines para makabalik sa countries nila and vice versa for Filipinos as well who wish to come home. Of course, if you're planning to book a flight, whether it's domestic or international, make sure to confirm the availability and frequency first with your airline by calling their ticketing office or checking their Facebook page and website to avoid confusion. For those of you who fly with Philippine Airlines, I'm sure it's an AK and may compliment your snacks and drinks. However, this time, things will be slightly different. To start with, sa economy, snacks and bottled waters will still be served to passengers, but hot beverage will be suspended for the time being. For premium economy, a different snack will be served, plus bottled water and I think a bottle of orange juice. For business class naman, say goodbye na muna for now sa hot meals. If I'm not mistaken, cold meals will be served instead to passengers. More or less, isa sa mga options for that is a sandwich of some sort. You'll also be given a bottled water and a bottled orange juice, but hot beverage will only be given upon request. Siyempre, as a safety precaution, the airline is trying to limit indirect contact as much as possible, such as using utensils or plating your hot meals and all. It's not just for the crew, it's for the safety of the passengers as well. So para hindi hassle, make sure to eat before your flight or bring extra snacks with you sa lipad. Aside from the usual x-rays, IDs, and whatnot, there are three additional important requirements that you have to follow. First, social distancing. This is a given. If nakapila kayo for x-ray, practice social distancing. If nakapila kayo for check-in, practice social distancing. If nakasakay kayo sa shuttle going to the aircraft, practice social distancing. Actually, kahit nasaan pa kayo, make it a habit to practice social distancing. Second, face mask. 
If may no ID, no entry, may no face mask, no lipat. Sa airport pa lang, if wala kayong face mask, hindi na kayo papapasukin. I don't think the airport or the airline will provide a face mask for you, so make sure to bring your own. Third, documents. You will be required to fill out forms, whether before, during, or after the flight. Before the quarantine, yung mga dinidistribute namin na forms sa passengers are health declaration cards and passenger health locator forms. Make sure to bring your pen. I repeat, make sure to bring a pen with you kasi you're gonna have to fill out the form every time you fly. So, kunwara yung flight mo is Manila, Cebu, then may connecting flight ka pababutuan. You're gonna have to fill out a form for Manila to Cebu flight and another one for Cebu to Butuan. Two hours later. <laughs> Remember to fill out the forms completely and accurately dahil hindi po ito optional. You are required by the government to accomplish these documents. There you have it. Make sure to follow all guidelines para smooth yung lipat nyo. Take extra precaution and stay safe. Flying with you?